fills into a fish first cast. He's managed to get two rods out. I've only got one of them in it. Uh, he's got a bit of weight. You think it's a ray? Could be. I think it's a massive fish. There's a bit of weight there, like. So. Can't be far out now. He's gone for a tactic of only squid and sandy all the day, so. This is on plain sandy. Oh, no doggy there. Something just in the shallows there. And what is it? We don't want to be plagued by dogfish today. Oh, it is a small ray. Very small. Is it a spotted? It is. Oh, here we go. Not a bad start. Oh, he's a spiky spotted. It's a lovely start. One of my favourites. I don't catch many of them. Hello and welcome to another episode of Banded Fishing UK. Today we're going to do something a little different again. We're going to try to get a, a Bristol Channel Ray Slam in 24 hours or less than that. We're going to do three sessions back to back. Now the four rays that make up the slam are the blonde, small eyed, thornback and spotted. Now we're going to try to do this in three parts as well. We have three different marks, three different episodes. Uh, Great start. Then a couple of minutes on my first cast. Spotted ray. So that's one off the list. Beautiful little fish there. I always find them quite hard to find, but uh, yeah, first cast, great start. There's three left for me. Lloyd's just getting his second rod out now. We've started on a, a beach in the Vale of Glamorgan, which is Monk Nash, Monk Nash Beach. So let's see, we're hoping to get Small idea, and hopefully Lloyd will get a spotted as well. Let's see what we can catch. Lloyd's got a bite on his first cast. I just heard my ratchet click as well. Let's see what Lloyd's caught. If I can catch up with him. Any action there, Lloyd? Could just be a ray sitting on it. Missed fish. That's all right. Early days, first cast. The signs are promising. Lloyd just had a strong pull down here. Oh, looks like a nice fish on there. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's good. Good stuff. Ready. Nice fish, is he? Nice fish. Try and get it. the rod in shot. Come straight to you, is it light? Yeah, it's What have you got on? Not a hound, is it? Come straight in. No, it's too much of a bend in there. Let's just be on the surface. I think it could be a small ray on the surface. Very strong bite. You can get a count of this off to start off with. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fish on the surface. You can see him. Oh, it's a nice looking fish. Let's cross the other line. Just keep coming. Keep it bringing. Come on, bud. Small light. Nice. Another one. Well done, Lloyd. Lloyd's just going to come to sort him out. I'm tangled up in the lines. Oh, sinky sand here. That's it. Out minutes. Minutes. Yeah, they like the fresh bait to me. They like the fresh. All the rays are lovely looking fish. Nice condition, look fat little fish that, isn't it? So here we go, small light, first one off the list for me. Three to all to go. What was that on? What squid bit? and sand deal. Squid and sand deal. Single medium sand deal, half a squid, normal pulley, three two and a half foot pulley, 
always seems to do a job for me on a flat beach. Oh, look at his tail. Yeah, a bit of a notch here, but... Water or something on his tail. Yeah, he's doing fine, aren't he? Yeah. Good start, nonetheless, for both of us. There we go. Three Getting more to go back. each. Well done, Lloyd. Okay, let's talk to my setup again. I've uh, I got my two century compressor sports again. It's a standard Bristol Channel rod. And I've got I've got various multiplayers. We've seen my multiplayers, Slosh 30s, uh, Pen, Casting Specials. They've both got 25 pound line, main line on them. Berkeley and 60 pound shock leaders. Now, I'm using a fair size lead again, a seven ouncer, just because it rips really strongly here as well. So and I want the fish to feel the resistance when they take the bait, I want the self hook. I'm using a rig, I'm using uh, an up and over rig, which Lloyd has demonstrated before, so I won't bore you with that, but it's pretty much a running ledger when it's, when it's unclipped, when you're fishing, which gives me a five foot trace. Some of them are slightly longer, but five to six foot, it just means the bait is a long way away from the lead. Um, it's a belief that rays don't like to feel the leads, the lead wires, so, just to be safe, keep it keep a good distance. That's a fair distance. Bait wise, because we're fishing for all the rays, all types of ray here, we can't beat the old classic sand deal squid wrap, which we've probably shown you before. But it's just a medium sand deal. Just cut the head and tail off for a bit of scent. And then I'm just gonna nick the sand deal. I got a pair of 3-0 Varivas Big Mouth or an 80 pound snood. I just nick him on like that. Hope you can see that. Uh, I'll just bind that on slightly with a bit of elastic. I think I'll find the end. Just to keep him still. And then my squid, I cut the head off the squid. Now I'll cut that lengthways down the middle. You don't want a very big bait. You can find sometimes the distance can make a difference here. So uh, a slim streamlined bait is going to get you out a little bit further. So I'm just going to nick that squid on, there, wrap him around the sand deal, using my trusty baiting tool, just hold it all together, bind on, as always. I'm going to have to get some more of these tools, I'm losing them all the time. Just going to bind them on, quickly, quickly. Again, like we said before, you don't need a massive bait, generally, for rays. Jason says a thumb size bait or finger size bait. This is slightly bigger just because the sand deal is a little bit bigger. But it's not a massive bait at all. And it's got a really slim profile when you cast in, tucked behind the lead. And get out of there. Now I've got a sliding hook. The top hook sliding, I usually fix them. This just gives me the option of using a longer bait or a shorter bait. The rays, you don't tend to miss many rays. When they want the bait, they have it. And they are razor sharp hooks, excellent hooks, just as good as the Sakuma, Sakuma Mantas. And there we go, nice streamlined bait. A good bite there, Lloyd? Yeah, exactly. Oh. Nice. Good stuff. How far out is he? You got him halfway in? Oh, it's a good bend in that tip. I'm putting him as far as I can. They're going out a long oh. They're going out a long way. We've got a bit of a. Tailwind as well, aren't we? So yeah. 
perfect ray conditions. Flat, calm seas, nice sized tide, bit of rip in the water. There's loads of sand deals. Every time you walk near the water, the sand deals pop up with the sand. It's ideal. Over by me, there's loads. Can't be far out now. Getting somewhere now, he is. Getting somewhere in the darkness. Still fighting. He's up on the surface. Just broke the surface. Can't tell what type, but I think it's a ray. Yeah, it's a ray of some sort. What is he? That's a blonde ray with no tail. <laughs> it's a funny looking one. It's a big fish, mine. Look at that, no tail. I wonder who's lost that. Blonde. Hey, hey, hey. Well done. Whoa. It's a strange looking one, isn't it? <laughs> What's all that about? Looks like a kite. Oh, he's heavy. He's heavy, he'd be a bit heavier with the tail. You've he lost a pound there. The <laughs> oh, get him on the scales and have a... Nice fish. See how much he goes. Second species towards the slam for Lloyd. Ooh, nice get one. It, eh? Lloyd is in again. Spending most of my time filming him. Another nice fish, Lloyd. Another blonde. See him again, sandy squid. Think so, yeah. Yeah, this is the same rod. The one that just caught the blonde. Some good head nods there. Plenty of fish about anyway. Nice. Looks like a big fish. Pretty close now. It's not far. Come on. Oh, watch that big hole there. Yeah, something in flapping about in the surf. Looks like another re. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Another nice fish. What's that? That's a small light. A big small light. That's a cracking fish. We've got a crab on it. That's strange. Big small light, that's a real, that's a cracker. It's a real nice fish. I think that's my biggest ever. Oh, oh sand in the eye. <laughs> I think that's my biggest ever small eye. We'll find out now. If it is, that's a PB on all four rays this year. That's a lovely fish. That's a lovely fish. Get in weed, Lloyd. So there we have it. PB small eye ray, nine pounds six. Taking on a small squid and sandy old bait again. And he's. Um, He's shorter, but he's two and a half foot, my go-to rig. I'm doing the business at the minute. It's nice to be on some fish. There's a beautiful markings on it. As all these rays in the, in the Bristol Channel, Channel do. But we're getting back now. The tide is flooding. And we should have some more fish in the next sort of two hours. There he is. You think he's in again? Something smaller this time, Lloyd, is it? I don't know if it is a fish, it's just, you know, there. Oh, yeah. There's something there. Not a full There's something there, it's getting close now. 
Yeah, he's on the surface, flap in, he's a re. Another nice fish. A blonde, another blonde. The man's on fire. Excellent fish. I've been having a few small knocks. I've got a slack line. I've decided to hit the bite and I've got a fish on. Nice fish. Lord in, it's a strong fish. Same rigs, up and over, same bait, sand deal, squid wrap. Oh. Here you go, Phil's uh, been doing his own bit. I just had my second blonde and he's into a fish now as well. Fighting. So he's fighting. What's he gonna be in the words of Philip? You haven't said that in a while. I know that for sure. Oh. Man, so all of a sudden and the, it started to flood. He's on the surface out there, you can see it. All of a sudden it started to flood and uh, it's got a bit hectic. We might even have to go down to one rod if it's this. If it is manic. What is it? Can you surf him in? It's a blonde. It's a blonde. Good fish. Oh, that was a good scrap. Small double. That's the best. Best scrap I've had off a blonde. Tiny little bite, you're something like a doggy bite. Well, let's see how small bait look. You don't need anything massive. Small bait. It's a tidy fish. Good fish. I <laughs> <laughs> need to watch for it, don't fall up to his yeah. waist. He's only short. Uh, so that's a blonde for me, uh, £10.14. Lovely fish. He's going out. Come on. Lloyd's into a nice fish again. There's Lloyd. There's his rod, hooped over. This feels massive. Gotta be a blonde, haven't it? Could be, but. Come on. You haven't picked them both up, have you? Yeah, it's coming. Nice and steady, you can't be far out again. There it is on the surface out there again. Oh, that's like a good fish. Gotta be, gotta be a big re. Just on the surface there. They do, and then they just stick their nose down. Just steady pressure. Steady pressure, he'll come up. It's not far out at all now. Something out there on the waves. What is it? It's gotta be a blonde. It's gotta be a blonde. Big fish. Bring him in a bit light.
Yeah, it's a nice thick fish. Nice thick fish. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Yeah, it's a big fish. Get him in light. Put your rod down and come and grab him. Or here. Here. Oh, lovely marking. Yeah. He's a nice fish, huh? It's a heavier fish again, I think. Nice. Sort it out, yeah. <laughs> Getting beat up by a ray. Look at the thickness on the tail on it. Healthy fish, isn't he? Must be plenty of food out there for them. <laughs> Best of both. <laughs> tiny, tiny double sand eel. The last way outrageous. it was probably weak. Yeah. Hooked, double hooked, just in the corner of the wing as well. It's another double low in there. Definitely. Definitely. Fantastic markings. Good, beautiful fish. All the rays are lovely. Get him back. I put I had a dogfish on, so I uh, I didn't bother recording this one. There's another spotted ray. They might be the smallest of the Bristol Channel species. They've got to be the prettiest. Little spots all over them. Outstanding little fish. Let's get her get back in. The beach is on fire. Fish are coming thick and fast now. Um, it's a fish of chuck, and it's not as if they're dog fish or anything small, they're double figure fish most of the time for me anyway. Uh, but just gonna show how I do a, how I'm beating up my sand eels. I've just got some medium sand eels. Yeah, so they're not great, um, but I say they're not great. In fact, they're probably better than larges for me. I'm just taking two, cutting the tails, cutting the heads, like so. I like to reverse them, so like top and tail them, head and tail. Find them just lightly all the way down and just snap them off then we're gonna pop them through only nick the hook through and lay it like so as you can see nice and proud run the line down and then this is where you just secure it make sure you secure it around the eye and the knot um, that way you know your hook's not gonna slip and your bait's not gonna slide up your line or slip down all the way up to the top as best as you can. I said the baiting tools are easy, especially if you're fiddly up the top there. You can just slide a baiting needle through, or one of the baiting tools I've shown you on the previous videos. And get it done. That's enough. That's enough elastic. You've got a nice and streamlined bait. And then with a the panel, there's the two. Old bait there, you have to be. With a panel, all I'm doing is one, two, three wraps, nicking it through like so, pointing it out the opposite side, and then just pull up the slack. So you've got two, two hook points showing in opposite directions, and Fingers crossed that's going to get me the spotted because then all I need to do is take off a thorn back. So let's get this out there and see if we can get one. Oh, look at that bend. I don't know if you can see it, right? To be honest, don't know what we're doing at the minute. It just seems to be fish after fish. I catch one, Phil catches one. I can't get a small aid and you can't get a spotted. Look that one out. And his fish are a lot smaller than mine. <laughs> Drop there. Drop two today. That's odd. Strange. Never mind. Get out and try again. You're on the feed. 
So Phil was wrong, he thought he'd lost it. I just came for the surface. But he hadn't. In. And we've got... Oh, it's what he wants. <laughs> oh, no. Tiny little blonde. Is that a blonde? That's a blonde. Yeah, to the edge. Look at that. It's the smallest blonde I've ever seen. Tell us oh, a blonde, not a spotted. Um, <laughs> the spots go right to the edge of the wing on there. Can you see that? So that's how you know it's a blonde, not a spotted. Another lump for Lloyd, yeah? By the look of things. Yeah. It's a healthy bend in the rod again. So what have you had now, Lloyd? You've had a few blondes and two small lights. Two blondes, two small lights, two PVs. Can't yeah. Ask more, really. You may as well just pack up and go home now. <laughs> Ah, uh, you've got a thorny and a spot in the catch yet? Wow. That's, that's the challenge. Oh, oh that's a nice nod, isn't it? Where are they? Now, yeah. I think still a fair way out, Phil. Yeah, he's a long way out there. Crossed. There's the fish. Splashing around in the surf. It's so powerful. People say rays don't fight. They obviously haven't caught these, are they? They're great fish, great sport. You can just see the blonde. Magic session. We never expected to catch this many blondes. Well, for Lloyd anyway. So that's four for Lloyd and two for Phil. Another blonde. Another big blonde as well. Nice fish. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. We'll get out of the again. What was the last one? 13.6. 13.6. That, that was a good fish, wasn't it? You get beat up again now. I think. You think so? I think so. Phil's gonna guess at 12 pound. I think it's bigger. A nice fish. Go oh. get a weed. Well, uh, this session is just mad. There's so many fish out there. A quality, quality fish. That is my third blonde. Another nice fish. I won't bother weighing it because it's, it's well under what I've had recently. But for me now, there's three blondes and two spotted. So I still need a small aid and a thorn back for my slam. And Lloyd needs a spotted and a thorn back. So, plenty of time left yet. Just enjoy the rest of the session. We're about two hours up from low water now. So our last casts are out on all rods. And when they're in now, we go somewhere different. We go to a different mark. But uh, there we go, something different. Strap conga. They're getting more and more common. We're getting loads on this size. Last year or two. Well, a nice change. You still need that small aid. Fingers crossed for the last cast. So the first of three sessions finished. Um, a lot of fish caught as well. Six blondes for me, biggest 13 eight. A couple of um, small aids as well with a PB mixing in that. Phil managed, oh, I don't know, four, five blondes, something like that, I think. And then two spot aids as well. So we've both ticked two off the sheet. And as you feel, we're both left with a thorny. I need a spotted, and Phil needs a small aid. Really, this venue was the one for the spotted and the small aids. This is why we picked this. Um, unfortunate, we haven't got them. And really, they're difficult fish to catch in the daylight. So we're going to have to have a bit of a tactical think now. See where we go. See where we can target both of these species, and um, move on from there. So stay tuned. But we're still in the hunt for that slam.